Okay, I'm at Denise's house waiting for her to arrive. <laughs> um, it's cold out here. It's 38. Anyway, Angie Murray. It's a new day. Start again. We can do it. I know we can do it. It's just, we just need to know that every day is a new start. It's just, I have faith in you, Angie. I do. I have complete faith. I have faith in everybody out there because trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. We all can do it. I know we can. All right, I'm going to go see what's taking her so long. <laughs> but Angie, hang in there. She needs a few more minutes. So that gives me time to talk to Mandy Bloom from across the pond. She said that this is a very inspiring journey for her. It is for me too. It's just, uh, we only have to do just what we can do each day. That's all we can do. I mean, uh, we can set high expectations and sometimes that might be what we need, but some days we just need to set the bar very low. <laughs> and when we set the bar low, we can accomplish it. Look at here, here they come. Here they come. Silly dog. Silly dog says, why are you in my driveway? Why are you in my driveway? <laughs> Don't wanna go. It's cold. And it's cold. It's cold. It really is cold. But she thinks she's stylish. No, I don't think I'm stylish. My ears, when I walk the ear, the wind bothers my ears. Can you see our breath? She thinks she's 16. I am 16 going, going on, on 71. 70. <laughs> 71. Oh, one. oh that's right. <laughs> I, I was reading about the president because he has the virus, but it made me think. He doesn't have the virus. Yes, he does. He tested positive. Oh, I'm sorry. Both him, and Melania, both him and Melania tested positive and they're in quarantine now. But anyway, when I was reading the article, uh, I had a little chuckle and you know what? It, you know, I always say, you throw something out in the universe, it comes back and hits you smack in the face. Because it said, the president is in his 80th year, and I want, or his eighth decade, and I went, <laughs> he's in his eighth decade. Wait a minute, I'm in my eighth decade too. <laughs> so, you know, it came back right away. It didn't take long to come back and smack me right in the face. Because hmm. really, you think about it, you're in your seventh decade of life. I'm in my eighth. I'm alive. I'm kicking. Let me see. Kicking. See, she can kick still. <laughs> all right, we got to go for a walk. Well, we're back. Pace, 23 minutes, 12. She's got to get all of her stats working exactly. here. Exactly. So we, she's got to do some homework today. Yes, with Kylie this time. <laughs> Never ending. Did, now, did she get a, a device? I think Anchor no. Bay, they only got one device for family, right? And then they started adding into more. It's like... No, Kata couldn't really do that on the computer, so hers is paper packets, which she can work with easy, easier, so... Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Denise is going to go get some zippers today. Yes. You do have, you did pique some interest on your bags. Project bags, yes. I Next week, I am really... Gary has been helpful. I've got another shelf in my closet, so I've been wrapping fabric. i got to get all organized. So that I can just sew, not move things to sew, because that doesn't happen. Soon. Soon. Soon we'll Next be trapped in the home. house, anyhow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just because of the weather, too. But I mean, a lot of other things, but yes. we'll be in the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say My goodbye. apologies for laughing for any Trump supporter when, I, when she told me that. I didn't believe her, I thought she was joking. Yeah, she did. Even when we went for a walk, I'm she like, said, I'm like, really? You're, you're just. Because I, I don't get up and look at the news right away like I'll after this walk I'll shower and then I sit down with my water and then I watch the Today Show like just the beginning so I haven't done any of that so when she said that I thought she was just joking. No because we were talking about it before we went to bed last night yeah. we, we always called each other at yeah. night so anyway if that was not good I shouldn't have laughed I don't wish ill will on anyone. Neither do I. Okay. Well, good morning. Today is Friday, October 2nd. It's quite breezy out here. It's quite chilly willy, let me tell you. Look at Nike. They were so smart. Put your name on it. People will buy you. If you're advertising. I'm a free advertising billboard here. They were smart. Anyway, um, today is Friday. Like I told you, October 2nd. We don't have any birthdays. 
but I wanted to talk to Sandy. Oh, Sandy, don't give up. Please, please, please don't give up. Sandy O said that she's been trying for three years and she's kind of losing a little bit of hope. We can always find ourselves doubting ourselves, no matter how long we've been on this pro project of ourselves. And, uh, but we must never lose faith in ourselves. You know, because as soon as you lose faith in yourself, you can't expect anybody else to have faith in you. You really can't. And like I said, mine is coming up four years on December 31st. Four years I've been plugging away at this. But I'm consistent. I'm wondering what you're actually hearing, because it is really windy. It's really... Although you can't see my breath anymore, can you? No. When I first started walking, you could see my breath. But I might be redoing this beginning. We'll see. But um, my plan for Vlogtober, because I, I do a daily vlog anyhow, but I'm still going to label my videos Vlogtober. Um, I am going to remind myself every day, and I'm going to insert a small clip of my past four-year journey to show you how far I feel I have come. And so right now it's time for that clip. This was in February of 2016, well before I even joined Weight Watchers, because I didn't join Weight Watchers till December 31st. So here's the clip. When I get there, I will check in. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I just uh, ordered Sirius Radio for my car. I guess today's just not going to be my day. So I ordered Sirius Radio for my car, and it is not working. So now I have to call and have them send me a signal, and hopefully that'll work. So day in the life, I'm telling you. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. My sister Denise had started this channel in 2015, I think in June of 2015. And she had told me in the summer we were in the pool, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And I went, ah, how funny, so funny. But I thought, well, I'll support you. I always support my family, and no matter what endeavors they try, I always support them. And uh, so she had talked me into February, just, you know, just get out here every once in a while. Just every once in a while. And uh, the picture I showed you was the first time she ever got me on camera. And I'll be telling you the truth when I say this. I thought I was a little overweight. I did. I thought, man, you're a little overweight. I look at that now and I'm thinking, oh, Sandy, how could you have been in such denial? And I'm not talking to you, Sandy O. I'm talking to Sandy C, me, because I really was in denial. And I just, I look back at that now and I'm thinking, Sandy, 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 what were you thinking? So I wanted to thank my sister Denise for having me do a daily vlog because, she, well, I didn't start off as a daily vlog. I did as a once in a while check-in. And uh, it's just the ham in me came out. <laughs> so I started doing this. And she got tired of doing it, and so she dropped off. And, you know, I continued on, changed the channel name. Um, one of the reasons I changed the channel name was because the AdSense account was in her name. And so, like, I would get the, the money. It's not a lot of money. Trust me. I'm not one of these YouTube millionaires that make, you know, like, live at a mansion and stuff on their earnings. Mine is just, like, a little mad money every month is what I get, which is more than I would get anyhow. So, you know, I'm not complaining. I'll, I'll take whatever little money they want to throw at me. But the problem was is when the W-2 form came at the end of the year, it came in Denise's name. Therein lies the rub because... Gary makes a very good living, which he should, because he's young. He's in his 50s. And uh, so it it put me in a higher tax bracket, and I didn't get as many benefits as I do as being a retired, just living on a pension and Social Security. So uh, I had to open up my own AdSense account, and we were having a hard time disabling the AdSense account for that particular channel and then reopening it for my channel. So it was just easier for me to um, uh, start my own channel, have my own AdSense account, and um, I always forget to turn the watch off. Let's see how far I walked. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, i got to go to a different one. Sorry about that. Going to a different... Nine fifty-seven. Good morning, pal. It's 9.57. 
I walked 2.53 miles and I have 72.35 in steps. So I'm doing pretty good so far. But anyway, um, so I just, um, I, I just, I'm very consistent. I mean, I can be consistently good or consistently bad, but I've somehow managed to be consistent. And that's the first step. And the second step is to realize that you're going to have a gain along the way. You're, yeah, there are people out there that have a loss every week. More power to you. That is not me. That is has not been me in the past, and I can tell you with 100% certainty that will not be me in the future. Um, this is a lifelong struggle. This is something I'm going to struggle with until the day I die. And I just know that as long as I'm consistent, keep my eye on the prize, don't give up, and just keep plugging away. Now, the three steps that I have to really, really, really devote myself to. Number one, the most important one at all, of all, the most important, important, important step is stop defining your journey by the number on the scale. Use it as a guide, but not as the deciding factor as to how well you did. You know how well you did during the week. You know whether or not you were following your plan or if you strayed off. Now, I know that a lot of you said that my Wendy's last night was a treat. It was a cheat because I had planned for dinner. I had already had a plan, but I was too lazy to follow that plan. So I just consider that a cheat. Now, the difference to me between a cheat and a treat is a treat is something that you plan out. It's my birthday, I'm gonna have a piece of cake. I'm going to a barbecue, I'm gonna have a hamburger. I'm gonna have some potato salad. Um, it's a wedding reception, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have food that I really enjoy that they make. Make exceptions. Don't be so strident. That's my number two. Is number two is don't be overly strict with yourself. If you're too strict, then you're, you're going to have doubts in your ability to make your progress, your ability to reach your goal, and just not feel good about yourself. So don't be so strict. Don't be so strict that you're not going to enjoy your life. You only get one life. You can decide to be depriving yourself of it and be a martyr. My mother always told me the only place martyrs get is into heaven first. You're still going to get there as long as you lead a good life. It's just that the martyrs are a little bit farther in line. They're farther up in line. So, not that she was encouraging me to be bad, but she was encouraging me to... Don't get discouraged with mistakes I've made along the way. Don't think that you have to be perfect every single day of your life. It would be nice if you could be perfect every single day of your life, but we're human. We're gonna make mistakes. We all make mistakes in our journey. We all make mistakes in our life, and we learn from them. So you just have to move on from that. So number one, don't let the scale define you. Number two, don't be so strict on yourself. And number three, enjoy yourself enjoy this whole process enjoy learning about yourself enjoy learning the little quirks that you have in your life the little triggers that set you off the little things that make you you because everyone has a fault everyone does yeah me too i had to think about that for a minute but yeah i have a faults too everybody has faults and if you can look in the mirror each day in the morning and just know Today I'm going to try my best. Today I know I'm going to do better than I did yesterday. Even if you had a perfect day yesterday, as I told you the other day, there's no such thing as perfect. You never get a 10. <laughs> you always got to strive for that. But if you can look in the mirror in the morning and say, you know, I did really well yesterday. I'm going to just do that again today. Or if you look in the mirror and say, you know, I didn't do as well yesterday, but I think I'm going to do better today. And at the end of the day, look in the mirror again and say to yourself, I did really good today. Oh my gosh, did I do really good today? I think I'm going to do that again tomorrow. And each day it might get a little bit easier to do that. But if you look in the mirror and you think, you know, I kind of screwed up. I kind of made a mistake today. I kind of went off trail. I went off the rails. But you know what? Tomorrow I can start again. That's the whole beauty of life. I can start again tomorrow. And if you're wake up the next morning, that's the number one gift you've got for the day. That you got up in the morning. You made it through the night. And 
and just know that it's a process that you can start again. So, number one, don't let the scale decide how well you're doing. You know how well you're doing. Number two, don't be so strict that you're not enjoying your life. And number three, have confidence in your ability to know that you can do this. Even if you make a little side steps along the way, sooner or later you're going to make it. Even if you take two steps forward and one step backwards, you're still a step ahead. So the only thing you got to worry about is if you take one step forward and two steps back, and then the next day one step forward and two steps back. No, you're not going to make it that way. But you can do it. I know you can do it. I have full faith in you. I have full faith in your abilities to accomplish this. And I know you can do it. I know. There's so many of you. I shouldn't name drop names like that, but I didn't have any birthday songs to sing, so I had to say a couple names out loud. But no, 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 no. We can do this. Not no, no, no. Like N-O, N-O, N-O. It's K-N-O-W. 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 We can do this. I have full faith in all of us. I really do. And if you've made to your goal and you're on maintenance, it doesn't make it any easier. I've been told it makes it harder. So enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Don't deprive yourself. And just know that you are you. There's nobody else like you. You are you. And I know you can do it. I know I know. I keep saying that I'm trying to be like a pumped up cheerleader. And, and I don't mean to be like a yeah, yeah, yeah type of person. But it's just, I just know that we're all in this together. We wouldn't be on a, I wouldn't be on a YouTube channel about weight loss and you wouldn't be watching a weight loss channel unless you really wanted to better improve your life. And, and we're doing it. We are doing it. So, well, I'm going to end the video now because you know I don't show you my foods on Fridays. Um, I do have a plan. Uh, I eat very light. I probably eat 15, 16, maybe 17 points on a Friday. I go under my 23, but, uh, religious purposes not weight loss purposes and I know a lot of you told me I should switch to Mondays as my weigh-in day and, and I tell you this with all sincerity that my weekend then would then become Monday and Tuesday rather than Saturday and Sunday I weigh on Saturday so I think Saturday and Sunday I go crazy if I weigh on Monday I, I would think Monday and Tuesday because I've seen people um, on their channels and no matter what their weigh-in day is they always seem to think well I weighed in today today's the day I can eat whatever I want and uh, I agree with Robbie over at Frecky Fitwolf. I was watching him the other day. And um, it's, I do the same thing. I go crazy on the weekend and then um, spend the whole rest of the week trying to catch up, make up for the deficit I set for the weekend. And uh, doing my daily weight this week, um, I can see that. Uh, I weighed my... One of the reasons I probably had the Wendy's yesterday was why I can't weigh myself daily. Today's the last day I'm going to do it. Well, I'll weigh myself tomorrow, but that'll be my weekly weigh-in. Is I had a .6 gain. And I was really, in my opinion, good the day before. So it just proved to me that my weight fluctuates every day. It assured me that I'm probably not going to have a one-pound loss this tomorrow. But it's not going to keep me from keep on trying. I'm going to keep on going. I'm like the little engine that could. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Hit that like button and share it. And stay safe. And don't give up. Don't give up. Just do it. <laughs>